Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're with me, Arun Sharma, and today uh, this uh, session, I'm taking a, a short uh, problem-solving session with you guys. And uh, this is uh, part of the Must Know Quants uh, series, Must Know Questions in Quants. And this is uh, question 28 that we are doing in this series. Please do have a look at the playlist. Uh, it will give you a fair idea into a lot of kinds of questions that are being asked uh, across and I've done across chapters. And this is important for all of you going for any competitive exam. Uh, I've tried to cover uh, question types, uh, not just uh, in the CAT exam, but also for IP Math, CU, AT, and all kinds of exams. And uh, this one, the, the question I'm doing today is actually an exam from, um, a question from an IFT exam paper. And it's, in, uh, it's a time speed distance question. And I want you to have a look at this question first. And uh, you can try to do this on your own first before I come into the, uh, into the solution. It's, it's a slightly difficult question for you to understand unless your uh, problem solving skills are pretty uh, strong in, in time speed distance. You will not get uh, the, 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 the direction from which you have to catch hold of this question. So have a, have a read and I'll be uh, solving, you, solving this question for you after that. So, if we read this together, this is <coughs> Mukesh, Suresh and Dinesh travel from Delhi to Mathura, Mathura to attend Janmashmi Utsav. They have a bike which can carry only two people per time, at a time, as per traffic rules. So, unlike what people in Delhi and Mathura do, uh, these people are actually obeying traffic rules. Right, so, uh, and the bike can be driven only by Mukesh. And Mathura is 300 kilometers from Delhi. And all of them can walk at 15 kilometers per hour. So let's put this, this information down in time speed distance whenever you draw, whenever you're solving a question. It's important for you to draw the, the picture of the movement because without a picture of the movement, you don't get uh, clarity with respect to what's happening. So let's say this is Delhi, that's Mathura. On the other side, you've got Delhi and Mathura and, and uh, you've got three people. Mukesh, who is the bike rider, who drives the bike, uh, Suresh and Dinesh. And uh, uh, the bike, the, the, the walking speed for all of them is 15. And the bike speed, given a little bit later in the question, is 60. Right. So if I go further with respect to the question and see what, what it's asking me or what, what it's telling me, is uh, that all of them start the journey from Delhi simultaneously and are required to reach Mathura at the same time. That means all three should reach at the same time. Uh, and uh, whenever you have a question like this, where three people are uh, separated from each other, and they have to reach at the same time, and one guy is on a bike, and uh, other people are either walking, uh, going on the bike pillion at the bike speed, or uh, going, uh, uh, or, or uh, 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 walking, if they have those, those two speeds, what has to essentially happen is that if, uh, if, if all three of them have to read the same, same time, then the bike journey of the pillion has to be divided between the people who are not riding the bike. The person who is riding the bike will always have to be on the bike. The persons who are riding pillion will have to walk some distance and, and, uh, uh, and then uh, get, uh, get picked up on the bike and, and, uh, and go forward. So if I look at what uh, it's happening, what is happening and they have told us that the speed of the bike is 60 kilometers per hour and the question being asked is what is the shortest possible time in which all three can reach Mathura at the same time so what has to happen is let's say uh, we have Mukesh and Suresh who go on bike first at a speed of 60 and Dinesh follows them at, at a speed of 15 and he starts walking let's say this is the starting part of the journey so there will be three points of interest uh, that will get created on this journey. The first point of interest that will get created is how far does Mukesh take Suresh? And there'll be a point, let's say we call this the point Y, at which Mukesh drops Suresh and Suresh from here continues at a, at a speed of 15. And then there'll be a, a, another point of interest that, that when uh, Suresh reaches this point and, and Mukesh drops him here, at that point, where would Dinesh be? So Dinesh would be maybe at some point, let's say, let's call it X dash here. He'd be at some point X dash here. And you can also make out, given the fact that the speeds are in the ratio 60 is to 15 or 4 is to 1, you can make out that whatever distance Dinesh travels, 
uh, the travel of Suresh will be four times that because he's gone on a bike at four times the speed and the time is same. They started together. And when Suresh is here, Suresh's position is S1. Dinesh's position is D1 at this point, which is the point X, X dash. But after this, what is going to happen is Mukesh has to come back. He has to, he has to drop Suresh there and he has to travel back. In that, in that traveling back time, during that time, Dinesh will also be traveling further ahead. He's not going to stop at X dash because he also wants to reach, uh, and all three of them want to reach Mathura fastest. So what will happen is Dinesh will go a little bit further and there'll be, let's say, a point X at which Mukesh has come back and picked up Dinesh and Dinesh has reached this point. So this is the, the, the points of interest in this journey. And of course, after this, Mukesh and Dinesh are on bike. Suresh keeps walking during this time. All the time that Mukesh comes, goes that way and comes back all the way here. And during this time, Suresh walks and they reach this point at the same time. This is the journey story. So the points of interest for us in this journey is X and Y. And uh, we are told that the distance between Delhi to Mathura is 300 kilometers. The problem has told us that. So the first thing you, you have to understand is that if now let's let's keep Mukesh aside, the two guys who are only walking or, or going pillion, Suresh and Dinesh, if the, both these guys have to reach that point, Mathura, at the same time. Now, if you if you look at this this journey uh, logic, let's see. We look at the logic for Suresh. Suresh has travelled this this journey by bike at the rate of 60 kilometers per hour, and then he's walked. He's walked this journey at the rate of 15 kilometers per hour. This is Suresh's travel. Whereas Dinesh's travel, if you look at Dinesh's travel, in the same time, Dinesh's travel is this journey on walk at 15. And the remaining journey, the remaining journey is, is by a bike at 60. So if they have to reach at the same time, what has to happen? The distance traveled by Dinesh on his walk has to be equal to the distance traveled by uh, Suresh on his walk. This is the distance traveled by Suresh on his walk. This is the distance traveled by Dinesh on his walk. Both these distances have to be equal. If both these distances have to be equal, and I assume, so this, this distance, Dinesh's walk is, uh, yeah, Dinesh's walk is D to X, and Suresh's walk is Y to M. So these two distances have to be equal. Let's let's call this distance A because we already used Delhi for, for D. And let's call this distance also A. So this distance A will be A. Key, key point is what is XY ka distance? Kya hai? How, do you, how do you find or how do you think about the XY distance? Because if you can get the XY distance, uh, what is our target? You, sometimes when you, when you can't find out what has to be done, uh, you have to, you, you should be able to try to create a target for yourself. What am I looking for? What am I trying to do in the problem? So the, if you look, at, look back at the question, uh, in the context of what we are trying to do in this problem, the question is giving us a very clear hint that it wants us to find the taut, shortest possible time in which they reach Mathura. So that will be given by uh, A by 15 plus 300 minus A by 60 because the time taken, let's say, let's say we talk about the time taken by Dinesh to reach Mathura. If he's traveling the distance A at the rate of 15 kilometers per hour and this distance then will be 300 minus A uh, at the rate of 60 kilometers per hour. So, so the, the using the formula distance by speed gives me time. So uh, uh, A by 15 plus if this is A, then this part of the distance would be 300 minus A. So A by 15 plus 300 minus A by 60 will give me the answer. So basically what I'm trying to do in this problem uh, is to find, is to plug in the value of A in this. I'm, I'm trying to look for the value of A. If I can find A somehow, I'll get my answer. So that's the whole hurdle. And to find A, I have to be able to express this distance also in terms of A because I know the total distance is 300. So that's where my problem is right now. Ye distance kitna hai, X to Y distance kitna hai. So we focus our entire energies on thinking about the X to Y distance. 
So when I'm focusing my entire energy on the xy distance, my thinking will go something like this. And, and this is again where you use uh, the logic that if speed ratio is, uh, is uh, if, if, if two, two bodies are traveling at different speeds and they have a speed ratio and the time they travel for is equal, the speed ratio can be transferred to the distance ratio. This is one of the key uh, thought processes or the key mechanics, as I say, in the time speed distance chapter. So if I look at, uh, at, at the nation's distance move, journey, from D to X, which is the distance of A. During that time, when Dinesh travels from D to X, what is the travel for Mukesh? So Mukesh's travel is, he goes from D to Y and comes back to X. So in the journey, in the journey uh, Mukesh's travel, uh, sorry, Dinesh's travel is DX. In the same time, the guy on the bike, Mukesh, he has traveled DY plus XY. Right, I hope you can see that because uh, the bike guy, Mukesh, had to drop his pillion here and then came back all the way. So you, that's, the, that's the description of the journey. And what you have to also understand is that this distance, this distance, the distance traveled by the, by the person on the bike, has to be four times the distance traveled by the person walking because they have traveled for the same time. Same time, they started at the same time and they meet again here. So when they're meeting again here, suppose you are here at 12 o'clock and you are here at 12 so 30 minutes दोनों चले ये 30 minutes ऐसे चला है वो 30 minutes यहाँ जाके वापस आया है so time is constant between the journey of Mukesh and Dinesh here if time is constant the ratio of distance is the ratio of speed so this dy plus xy upon dx has to be four to one which means that if dx is a dx को तो ये assume किया हम लोग ने तो dy dy plus xy is four a so this is another key switch in this problem and once you get that, okay, dy plus xy is 4a, once you get that, then you can, uh, the next step you can do is, dy plus xy is nothing but dx plus xy plus xy. And dx is a, so 2xy is 3a, so the distance xy will be 1.5a. And once you can get uh, xy is 1.5a, you know that the total journey is 3.5a, and 3.5 is a is 300. So from there, from that equation, that 3.5a is 300. You can use the value of a to substitute in this uh, in this uh, calculation. And if you can calculate that, you will get a 9, 9, 2 by 7 as the answer for the number of hours. I leave the calculation to you. You can do it on your own. So thank you so much uh, for uh, uh, tuning in. And uh, I hope you're liking what we're doing on the channel. We have taken a complete revamp of the channel. It's been a big challenge for me to do it, to find the time to do it. But uh, if I get the reciprocation from the audience, uh, I am committed to this. So thank you so much. Do like, do share, do subscribe, do comment. And your comments actually give me a lot of ideas about what I want to do next on the channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.